Hello and welcome to Let's Play Overboard. This is a narrative adventure murder mystery, and we are the murderer. Uh, I believe the story begins after we have already committed the crime and we need to figure out how to cover our tracks and maybe frame other people uh, as we go along. So let's see. There's lots of choices, lots of narrative branches and way things can go. I just really love the concept of this. Uh, this is a game that I believe was created during the pandemic as a sort of small project, small fun project. I may need to adjust some of these sounds. Midnight, July 3rd. Ooh, the SS Hook, bound for New York, 1935. Vinsley's Depart for America, former starlet, Veronica Valenzi sets sail today for New York accompanied by husband Malcolm. The pair, once dubbed a charming couple, are now rumored to be in dire financial straits after a string of poor investments. She does not look happy. Um, I don't know if OBS is recording my cursor or not. Okay, I think it is. We'll find out. <laughs> when I edit, we'll find out. We stood together at the rail, Malcolm and I. I told him I could see dolphins playing in the wake of the boat. He leant over to see them. Just a little further, dear. So I grabbed him by the belt. Now! And I threw him overboard. Ah! <laughs> oh. Malcolm, darling. I had the strangest dream. I uh, Malcolm? Oh! My cabin. 806. He's gone! He's really gone! Marvelous! Oh no. <coughs> Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Valenzi. Is everything alright? <gasps> oh, what should I say? Who's there? Steward, ma'am. What do you want? Captain says we put into Liberty Island at 4 p.m. And breakfast is still being served, ma'am. But only till 9 o'clock. Damn it, Veronica, you've overslept. Ooh, should I say I'll let my husband know? Hmm. I'll let my husband know. Mr. Blenzi is not in there with you? He's... Oh shoot, I probably I probably should have just said thank you. He's taking a bath. Well that might be bad. Let's do that one. Miss Valenzi, it's almost nine o'clock. Is that bad? Is there a problem? Perhaps the boiler room will stop producing hot water? No, ma'am. No problem, of course. Very good, ma'am. What what was that about? Thinks Malcolm's taking a bath. Be calm, act natural. Okay, okay. So this seems important. Act natural, maybe no one saw anything. Yeah, I definitely didn't want to tell them that he was taking a stroll because they might think he was out there. This is way too, this is way too, uh, this is too loud. 
Maybe a little bit. Um. That still, that seems like I didn't do anything. Yeah, that doesn't, oh, maybe it needs to, maybe the menu needs to move first. Let's look around the cabin. The bathroom. Yeah, surprisingly, Malcolm is not in the bath. I catch a glimpse of my reflection in the mirror as I slip into the bathroom and look quickly away. There's a bottle of tablets by the little sink. What about the tablets? Sleeping tablets, strong ones. Veronica's little helpers. It's a wonder I woke up at all. Read the label? For the treatment of severe insomnia as a result of mental distress. Drowsiness and short-term memory loss, irritability, aggressive outbursts, increased libido. You're a full house, Veronica. Rather a royal flush. Um, go ahead and pocket them, maybe? Fix your face. Yeah, you got a bottle of sleeping pills. My earrings is missing. Oh no. My diamond earrings. Shit, shit, shit. I didn't lose my earring on deck last night. Yeah, put the other one. Pocket the other one. I slipped the earring free and put it in my pocket. I hurry back out into the cabin. Check the bed. I fell asleep on the chase last night. So no one slept in the bed. Um, yeah, scrumple the sheets, because... I don't know no one slept here unless... There, that's better. Stretch out. Can't help stretching out and join my new kingdom. Oh, we may need to, uh, I didn't realize that would, uh... There's no time for this. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I thought maybe that would, um... The porthole? What's at the porthole? The porthole's open. Toss something overboard. Should she toss her earring? Throw Malcolm's clothes overboard. Toss my earring. The earring glitters in the sunlight as it disappears. Good riddance. Toss the sleeping pills. Keep them. But in the sea. Oh, look at the time going. No sign of America yet. I shouldn't do that. Unless it's on the other side of the boat. Is that how boats work? Desk. There's a cast iron paperweight in the shape of a dolphin on the desk. What an ugly thing. God knows I hate dolphins. Look at the paperweight. Beautifully made, but completely inaccurate. Dolphins have lots more teeth, like little daggers. How would you know? Horribly heavy. So they don't want anyone to steal it. Who would want to steal this horrible thing? Steal it anyway? I could probably put it in my case though. And throw away some of Malcolm's clothes? I spend a happy five minutes stuffing blazers, jackets, trousers. No, I didn't want you to do that! <laughs> <laughs> A little momentum. Why did you throw his clothes? No! No, 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 no. Hold on. I know I can reset to eight. I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna reset. That's fine. That's fine. I'll make the same choices and just don't mess with anything. Actually, I won't make the same choices. Here's more luck in America, love birds. I knew I didn't. We Read stood that. together at the rail, Malcolm and I. How do I skip? I told him. <coughs> <gasps> Who's there? Steward, what do you want? I'll let my husband know. He's taking a bath. Is there a problem? On the 
bathroom. Taking the tablets. Pocket them. Fix your face. We are not going to stretch out. Go to the porthole. Toss out the earring. Look at the paperweight. Pick it up. <laughs> so I can't pocket it. Just put it down. Leave. You're late. Where should you go? Breakfast is being served somewhere, right? Perhaps you lost your earring. Where's breakfast? Smoking room, the restaurant, the yeah, cafes. I've missed breakfast now. Oh, he said till nine. So it's gone. So if I hadn't messed with the thing, then I could have had time to go to breakfast. Okay. All right, chapel. Might I ask for guidance from a higher power? These are people, the bridge. I think she probably wants to look for her missing earring, maybe? Maybe? Yeah, go ahead. We don't have any reason to go anywhere else. Make my way to the upper deck, but not quickly enough. My earring. It's not here. Ah, Mrs. Valenzi. It's Mr. Carstairs, the young Englishman? Damn fine day. What? So bracing up here. Good morning. Taking the air. Have you seen my husband? Um. Shoot. I don't think we want to ask that this early. I'll never forget this view. It'll always be special to me. Oh no. Steady on there. You're sounding a little lightheaded. Oh no, I'm fine. Just enjoying the freedom of the open water. Well, if you ask me, it's jolly cold. Lovely to see you as always. I'm going to take another turn, I think. The rail. Check the rail. Lean out over the rail and stare down into the water. Honestly, Malcolm. Dolphins, lean away. Let's not reminisce. Um, the deck. Did I drop my earring here last night? It might not matter. No evidence that anything happened. Should we wait by the rail? Let's wait. I don't think we have any reason to 20 minutes idle by. Lady H spawns by. Ah, Veronica, dear. Are you quite well? You look awful. Really. Do I? Simply dreadful. Too many late nights, I suppose. How is that charming husband of yours this morning? He's sleeping in? Oh no, but when does the maid come by? Let's try it. Is he now? Oh, but I told the... Shoot! My goodness, whatever did you do to him? Lots of late night. Nothing, honestly. Lots of late nights. I told him he was taking a bath, and now I've told her that he's sleeping in. Make even me blush. That explains why you weren't at breakfast, of course. Clarissa Turpentine was an absolute flood of tears. She looked like a leaking cistern. For what reason? I thought you might be able to talk some sense into her. About what? Who can say? Perhaps the moon upset her with its face. <laughs> Honestly, I think that girl needs a good scene, too. By a therapist, I mean. Toodles! Oh, look! Up there, on the bridge. Isn't that the commander? Uh... You mean Anders? 
Oh, I should have asked if he could see us. Oh, you are playing it cool, aren't you? Hello? I do believe he's waving at us. Oh, good, I didn't need to ask. She treats him to a wave of her handkerchief and turns a smile at me. It's a clear view. I rather like him, don't you, dear? What do you make of him? Quite a favorite of mine, but you know, dear. Not all that glitters is gold, as they say. What does that mean? You don't trust him? Oh! Oh, I would trust him. Maybe not to sail a boat, though. What does that mean? He's a war-decorated commander. You're a fan. How delightful. Listen. Our beloved commander, my dear, he has a secret. What kind? A rather awkward one. Lucky for him, I'm terribly discreet. Give me a hint. Oh, I can't resist that. He's rather young, don't you think? To be a full commander, I mean. She pulls a string of rosary beads from her pocket as she strides away. Let's go check out Miss Turpentine. Or should we go talk to the commander? This is the restaurant. Calissa was crying, does she know something? Has a secret, I wonder if he'll tell. Maybe we should... No, I think she's more interested in this. Less than six hours from... So I got six hours to cover my tracks. When do I tell people he's missing? Oh, you climb a, a metal ladder and it's a terrible idea. Anders is at the wheel. On a hook inside the bridge is a key with something. I missed that. That was too fast. That was... That was too, too fast. Can you increase this a little bit? Please and thank you. Wave? Commander? Mrs. Blinzy, come in. The bridge isn't empty. There are a few officers about. How are you faring this morning, Mrs. Blinzy? Uh, a bit dizzy? Yes, indeed. The upper deck seems a long way down, doesn't it? No one there now, of course. Do you know I was on watch here last night? Oh, yes? That's right. It was a quiet night. Light breeze, no fog, relatively good visibility. Um... Anders, my friend, I feel I've known you a long time. We're old souls, Miss Flensy. That must be it. I'm told you have a secret? My good looks and charm are no secret, Mrs. Lindsay. Um... Should she admit things? I'm quite taken with both those things. It's true. Well, that's very nice to hear indeed. Very nice. Miss Lindsay, I should perhaps return to my duties. What's the key? The one with the red tag? That's my pass key. Why? So you can go anywhere you like. Of course. Could you even come to my cabin? Excuse me? I should get one of those. Naturally, we don't give them to passengers. We sometimes use them to visit passengers, however. Miss Valenzi, I usually do my rounds between 11 and 12. About a half past. I could be near your cabin. Perhaps you might be in. Bring your hat. <laughs> okay. I like your hat. Of course, ma'am. You want to stop by? Can I trust you? My advice, Mrs. Lindsay, look after yourself. That way people will stick by you. Okay. Well, 11.30 then. Interesting. Go back down. So did he... Does he know? That he pushed... 
Anders suggested you might call at me at half past 11. Now, half past 11. Like right now? I was thinking late at night, not like noon. How long does it take you to get... I don't know. Calissa was crying. If I go and talk to her, how long is that gonna take? Shoot! Ah! Uh... Alright, I think we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go, because... I don't know. I don't know! Yeah, okay. It wasn't PM. I fall into my chase exhausted. The bed? The maid has been in and made the bed. Wait. I lie back lying in wait like a tigress in the long grass. There's a knock at the door. Splenzy, well now. I see you're waiting for me. Close the door? Of course. He has to know. I wanted to ask you something? No. Let's not... You wanted to see me. Here I am. Magnificent, ma'am. May I ask, did you want to see me? Oh, apparently very much yes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Anders kisses me and starts to undo my buttons. Wow, okay, so he must have seen. He doesn't ask me for permission no more than I asked Malcolm for his, but unlike Malcolm, I'm not going anywhere. I do exactly what he wants me to. I fall for him right where I stand. <sighs> Then he puts his hat back on. Ma'am? See you again, I hope? Or wait. Don't just go. I want to talk to you. Yes? Can't I keep you? <laughs> just a little longer. Miss Valenzi. I have a ship to command. You do this often? Never. He gets to his feet, heads into the bathroom to wash his face. His passkey is still on the desk by the awful dolphin. Get up out of bed. I would get up, but the fact is I can't move. I've been pinned like a butterfly to a board. I can hear the water running in the bathroom. Tidy my hair? I sit up, begin to fix my hair clips. It's amazing how many I use each day. Cuddle a pillow. She can't get out of bed. Try to get out of bed again. All right, now I'm ready. From the sound, I think Anders is brushing his teeth with Malcolm's toothbrush. I feel like I shouldn't grab the passkey. We don't need to go anywhere that we know of. We probably will later. But he seems like someone we don't want to put on our bad side. I peer around the doorway. Anders looks just great with his back to me as well. I don't want the key. I quietly lie back down. I feel like if we took the key and he knew we took it, you look perfect, dear. Good show. He picks up his key from the desk, salutes, and out he goes. Sigh. <sighs> oh. Goodness me, Malcolm. You have no idea. All right, get up. There's still time. I feel like he's on our side. Oh, what's this? What? Ah! Oh, I can throw myself overboard? No. Um, anyway. Lady H has a secret I wonder if he'll tell. Let's go check here first. Um. I feel like he's on our side, and if we take his key, then we'll lose that, so I don't want to. The aft cabins belong to the Major, and to miss something, it's gone. They're sobbing from in here. Let's try Clarissa's door, see what's wrong with her. Knock. Clarissa, are you in there? Go away! Clarissa, let me in. You witch! I never want to see you again. I know what you did to him. I know. Clarissa, have you seen Malcolm? Where is he? 
You don't know? My god, Veronica, you really don't know? What did you see, Clarissa? Please tell me. Go away! He didn't sing to you, did he? Do you know where he is? He's dead. You must know that. Go away. Leave me alone, you monster, you harpy. She collapses into floods of tear again. Enough to spoil her bedsheet. How can she know? How much did she see? Knock on the door again. Clarissa, go away! Meet me on the upper deck. Why? Do it for Malcolm. Trust me. I hate you. Knock on the door again? Clarissa, go away! Let's try the Major's door. Hello? No answer. Let's try the door. It's locked. The Major's too careful to leave his door open. Let's leave. Let's see if she'll actually meet us on the upper deck. She says she'd come. So Clarissa saw, maybe. There's a whimpering sound behind me. Thank you for coming, Clarissa. What do you want? I can see you're upset. You need to get some more sleep and try to calm down. Don't patronize me. I saw him fall, Veronica, last night. It was horrible. I was in my bunk, just writing something, and I looked up, and he shot past the porthole in front of me. You're sure it was him? Oh god. I wasn't sure, till I saw your face this morning. I don't know what you're talking about. He wouldn't have done it except for you. You didn't love him. Why didn't you let him go? You think he killed himself? It was all he could do. He loved me, but you left him no choice. That's your porthole down there? Was this where he was standing? Maybe, I'm not sure. She leans out to see. I glance up toward the bridge. I think I can see Anders at the wheel. Is it your cabin? That isn't your porthole. I don't want to push her. She thinks he killed himself. Maybe, I'm not sure. I don't think it is. It has to be. I saw him. I did see him. He was alive this morning. He went for a walk before breakfast and never came back. How is that possible? You two are in love. It was too dark to see outside. You're ridiculous. It's too dark. You can't have seen him. Maybe you're right. I was so sure. But I couldn't have seen him. You're right. He wasn't worth it, you know. Now let's just say goodbye. Goodbye. So I convinced her that she didn't see anything. Can I put. Can I put. Go see. So I convinced her that she couldn't have seen him. Knock on her door again. Claire, she still wants me to leave. Put my ear to the keyhole. I'm just crying. More sobbing. Ripping something up? More sobbing. Huh. Let's wait in the corridor, see if the Major shows up? Or no, let's leave. No, let's wait. That might have been a bad call. Alright, let's move on. Lady H and Mr. Carstairs. 
We've spoken to both of them. Let's go talk to him again. It's two hours. I think this is not gonna go. It might go, alright. The pass key's still hanging on the hook. Upper deck. You can see the rear clearly, but there's no one down there. Commander gives me a cheerful smile and returns to his duty. Okay. So I could have pushed her overboard. sure where to go. Forward cabins are occupied by the car stairs and Lady H. Anders appears from around a corner. You were just upstairs. There you are. We're needed in the restaurant now. Why? Please, I don't want to drag you. But it'll look very suspicious if you don't come. What? Oh no. Less than one hour. What happened? Lady H and the Major are soon to be gathered. Oh, she's still crying. Anders walks me in and steps to one side. Thank you all for coming. I apologize for gathering you all here. It is most unusual. I believe something unusual has indeed occurred. Mrs. Valenzi. Malcolm Valenzi isn't with you. Tell them, Veronica. He was with me this morning. Liar, you told me he disappeared. No, I didn't. Uh, I didn't tell you that. I told you he... I told... No. He was with me all night. I don't care what you think. Or what I said. Point is, something has become of Mr. Villainzi. So what has happened? I saw him fall into the sea last night. He fell past my window as I looked out. I know you don't want to believe it, Veronica, but that's what I saw. He reached out to me like a ghost. Something on your conscience. Isn't there something on yours? You know. Of course, one doesn't like to gossip, but Malcolm Valenzi was on the upper deck last night, and he wasn't alone. Oh! Clarissa was with him? It must have been Clarissa. Taking a moonlight stroll with my husband. No, I was in my cabin waiting. Malcolm was going to visit me. I gave him my key. You gave a married man your cabin key? You heard me. He never came. Maybe the two of you were on deck. And you threw him into the sea. No, I would never have hurt Malcolm. Unless he dumped you. You were in floods of tears this morning. Guilty conscience, perhaps? No, you mustn't believe her. Wait, is Miss Turpentine or Mrs. Valenzi you saw on the deck, Lady Armstrong? I honestly can't be sure who I saw. It's terribly ghoulish. I heard Mr. Valenzi go overboard. I heard the splash. I didn't realize what it was then. But now, well, in fact, Mr. Valenzi is missing. The evidence we have is all circumstantial. Nothing to justify a firing squad, as my old field marshal used to say. Oh, okay. Thinks it was suicide. Aren't you forgetting something? Anders will vouch for me. Commander saw nothing. Won't you, Commander? Well? I saw something fall overboard from my post on the bridge. But that's all I really saw. I didn't get a good look. I thought the time was a suitcase or a crate. But it must have been Malcolm Valenzi. Andrew shoots me a little smile. The upper deck was empty. My sympathies for your loss. This seems rather... Um... Just say thank you. No one's... No one's talking about how she said he, he was with her this morning. There's some contradictories here. So it looks like trying to talk her out of it didn't work. You got out of it. I escaped with a nice commander on my arm. I didn't think you'd get out of it. You lied for me. You said the deck was empty. That was kind. My pleasure. Only next time, please remember. Suicides don't pay out life insurance. We're just gonna have to try the whole thing again. 
Oh. Oh, you want it? Wait, wait, wait. That was your fault? Wait, 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 wait. We're in this together? We're in this together? Where do I find another idiot? These two are scheming together? <laughs> to your next role, my dear. Oh my god. Oh, bugger. Freedom, but no life insurance. Oh, attempts to. It, re it, rem it remembered that I restarted. Mrs. Valenzi is left penniless in America, but has already been seen in the company of a new man. Valenzi's father was lost on a dolphin hunting expedition near Norway. Widowed at sea. Okay. So we have to say that somebody killed him. 